really pleased with Chris and Keeling stepping up and making those three free throws right there. It's the toughness for that kid who's had that it very easily, to be honest with you, this year. Uh, Got to congratulate their club. Uh, six for 11 from three point in the line in the second half. They hadn't shot it real well all year, uh, like us, but they shot it a little bit better than we have. But made a bunch of them in the second half. Six for 11 is fantastic. Uh, There's not a lot for me to say, guys. I wish you guys just ask me some questions. I'll answer whatever you've got. Consider you all play well in the second half. Like how do you, you know, get this get the message across to your mm -hmm. team? Or how do you, I guess, tell them that, you know, despite the way you all lost? Yeah. Hey, there's no, no no secret formula you can say to kids right now. I mean, they're devastated. You know, it's been a devastating year. And, uh, Christian stepped up there and made three big free throws, and then their kid made a tough shot. Uh, the one he made in the second half from the other corner may have even been tougher than that, but you know, he made seven threes against uh, Louisville, I think it was, so our plan was not to give him open looks, but he made that one over there. He was, Christian was a little smaller, but challenged him pretty good, and he made that one, and the leak just went flying by, and he took another drill and stayed behind the three-point line and made it in. How do you get to them? Uh, just try. That's all you can do. I told them I thought that uh, we didn't react uh, very well to a bitter defeat against Duke when we went to uh, Wake Forest. We've got to react better now. It's a quick turnaround. Uh, the, game is, uh, the game is filled with a lot of things that are extremely high and some lows are as low as you can possibly ever imagine. But you still got to keep it, keep coming back and keep playing. And uh, that's what I told them. That's what I'm going to work on tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, keep keep going to the well. Got to keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Are you pleased with Garrison finding some open looks and kind of fighting through wearing the goggles, which he struggled with the other yeah, day? Yeah, he was, he was better today. It's, it's Hopefully he'll get a little bit better as he goes along. I think he didn't, he didn't shoot the free throws very well, but 9 for 14 for the plate from the floor. Is good. You know, we've uh, we got to get to the Akite. Uh, is that the correct pronunciation? That's a big-time three-point play that he got uh, earlier, uh, right before that last one. But... Uh, uh, Garrison is a little bit of a warrior, and he's had some tough times with the scratch corny of three different occasions. But uh, uh, I, you know, guys, I thought the killer in the first half was ten turnovers. Uh, they didn't score as many as you'd probably think off of that, but I thought that was a killer because it takes away from us having the opportunity to score. Uh, Tony's club is really a good club. Uh, Clark and Dick Ite won a national championship last year. They know what it's like to perform under the stressful situations, and they make plays over. It's like two more quick ones, Coach. not because we lost, but because obviously you can tell Coach is a little under the weather. So yeah. two quick ones, please. Coach, how do you put in words just the amount of close games and, and buzzer beaters that mm -hmm. these teams have had the last couple of games and then this season as a, as a whole? Oh, you can't put in words. I'm not that intelligent. It's a, it's a gut check time on you. There's no question. I've never felt it any, <coughs> any year I've coached the way I feel right now. But that's okay. It's life, and you've got to go on with it. Uh, I told them uh, there were parts of the game against Duke that I was really proud of. I was not proud of the way that we played Wake. Today in the second half, I was proud because things were going, and all of a sudden now they're three or four or five ahead, and we kept playing and making plays. So I was proud of them. And it is, it, life's not easy. You know, sometimes you will be faced with a lot of adversity, and you've got to be able to handle it. But we can't give up. You just got to keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. I don't know if my message is very good or not, but that's what I believe in. Send on that one. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. And I'll say one thing, too. Uh, yeah, Kite, is uh, he a senior this year? Yes, he Okay, he came over and said something to me at the end of the game. It was really nice. And you love Tony Bennett, the way he coaches, and his club, and those kind of kids.